traders, uh, I'm done trading for the day and I do want to talk to you about exactly the same thing we discussed yesterday, just that I think we can add a few more remarks here about uh, trading pairs of stocks. And uh, just before we, we get started, um, here's my Boeing trade after adding as it, is, as it has moved up. That's my second trade in Boeing. My first one was a loser. I've got a fantastic winner here. BNTX was a winner that uh, was a trade that uh, Scott posted today. But as uh, you can see here, I've got uh, several losers as well. Well, I'm kind of lucky to finish in green today. I have to say, uh, and again, before we talk about trading pairs, look at the market today. The S&P was very, very tricky today. Started with a gap down. Therefore, you can expect it to continue down. And it did pulled back up, moved under the lows, gave us all the reason to think that uh, we're going to continue down and then spiked over the highs. Now what's going on? Another red candle? I don't know what's going on really. But the thing is the market was very tricky today and it was very, very hard to trade. And that's why most of my time today I spent in red. Well, Boeing find me, finally took me back to green territory, but uh, let's take a look at that and Again, we talked about trading pairs yesterday. Take a look at American Airlines right over here. Look at the way it's trending higher. So it, it really is looking beautiful. It started with a gap up today. So did Boeing, started with a gap up. If you take a look at my pre-market picks, you will see that Boeing was on my long list. Why is that? The market started down. It was down like 0.5% when we started. NASDAQ was, uh, I think, more than that. I'm not sure. But anyway, both the S&P and the Nasdaq started in red, Boeing started in green, so did the airlines. And we talked about pairs yesterday, you should be looking at pairs, you should be looking at stocks that are, uh, you know, are trading at, uh, that have some kind of relationships in between them. So if you look at uh, American Airlines, it just went higher, it was uptrending the whole day. So. At some point, at the beginning, I took uh, a failing trade in Boeing, but let's leave that behind. The second one was really with the pair. That's the one I was really uh, more proud of, and that's the one that really brought me back to green territory. So take a look at Boeing. Boeing did move under the loss. Should you trust that move when Boeing is moving under the loss? Well, the market moved down at that time. The market also moved down under the loss at that time. So. Uh, the Boeing followed the market. However, at that point, you can see that American Airlines was really, it's not the only one, I was watching several other um, airlines. You can see that American Airlines did pull back down at that point, did not come down under the laws. So you could think that, well, is that really a move that Boeing wants to make or would it really make a big move up? Then you take a look at what happens next. Look at this candle over here. That's the point. Uh, if you take a look at the time, you can see it at the bottom that it's 9.50. Now take a look at the lows here in Boeing. That's the same thing. That's 950. So at 950, Boeing was at the lows. So was here on a pullback, American Airlines. So I take a look at the American Airlines and I'm thinking, well, Boeing just could be overreacting here. So I went long over 251. That's the first uh, trade I posted after my losing trade in Boeing. And then it moved higher, then pulled back down again. Nothing wrong because it still is uptrending. And if you take a look at, um, at American Airlines, it pulled back down as well. And then it again moved up and moved over the highs. Boeing is not really doing the same thing as American Airlines, but definitely moving with the airlines. And American Airlines is not the only one here. So I kept adding as American Airlines was moving over the highs. Boeing did not, but I trusted it to move with its pair. And it did. It did well. So... You know, sometimes you need to like take a look at uh, some kind of pairs like I would say Mara, Riot, Crypto, things like that. There's definitely some other pairs that you can look at. Trading pairs is extremely important. When you trade one of them, you should always be looking at the other. Take a look at what happens. Like you're trading Baidu, take a look at Baba. You're trading uh, uh, whatever. I mean, there's a lot of stocks that are trading in pairs that give you some kind of a clue. It's not always right. It's not always true. But they do give you some kind of a clue about what is about to happen. So we talked about it yesterday. I talk about it once more right now. Now take a look at American Airlines just moving over the highs. And again, so the only one I'm looking, look at... Uh, uh, United Airlines right here okay so you see it's also uptrending nicely just um, touching the highs here beautiful uptrend and again you want to trade Boeing you need to take a look at them too 
So Boeing fin finally um, made a nice move, took my partial right under 253 and then turned out to be a nice trade. Well, I will finish in green today, but I have to say that was not a good day. That was actually, I don't know if I could call it lucky to finish in green. I took some chance by adding two Boeing. So I think if I need to be honest about uh, what happened today, I don't think I traded the right way. If you are with us um, on YouTube, um, we will really appreciate if you give us a thumb up. Uh, that's a small button right there. It helps our channel, helps more people like you join our channel, uh, which uh, is very useful for a lot of people who, look, who like to learn day trading. So if you're up to it, uh, we will really appreciate it. Just a, one click of a button. You also have that subscribe button over there that you can click on and uh, uh, be notified if we go live. So I want to thank you for joining us. I want to thank you all in the training room for joining us. Just a quick reminder, we do have today and tomorrow um, the sale day, the last sale day of our programs. And um, you can join us for $350. Get uh, the education you need to become a trader and get a funded account. There are some links that uh, Clifton is posting. There will be links under this uh, YouTube video as well, which you can join. So thank you all for joining today. Thanks a lot and I'll see you tomorrow.